So now we can edit our drawings inside of external applications and I'm going to show you how you can do that. Now uh, let's say I have my storyboard. Let's say I go to layer background chooser. Uh, I want to get the storyboard background. Alright so let me get that. Alright so <clears throat> let's say I'm working with storyboards. Uh, and I have a drawing right here. Alright, say there's a guy right here. Alright. So here we have a guy. And uh, I'm going to create a new layer. Uh, for each drawing, I'm going to create a new layer. And I'll explain why later on. So I just created a new layer and Let's say the guy, I don't know, maybe walks over to the right of the screen. Uh, this is horrible. Anyway, so let's say he goes to the right, right? He turns right or something like that. So here's my first drawing, and here's my second drawing. <coughs> Now, uh, let's say I want to edit this. Let's say I want to, I don't know, uh, change the color or something like that, right? Well, now we can actually edit it inside of uh, Photoshop or GIMP or whatever external, whatever other editing software that you have, right? Image manipulation software, whatever it may be. So if I go to layer and go to edit layer in external app, I see the list of um, applications that I can open up this file in. And for this example, uh, let me go to GIMP and that. So I click on GIMP and I click OK. And then here we have GIMP opened. The cool thing is it brought my drawing into GIMP so that I can edit it. Right? Uh, you probably won't be able to see the drawing so let me just create uh, a new layer and paint that white, white. Let's bring it below the drawing. Come on. Ah. Alright, whatever. Alright, so here we have my drawing. So let's start to edit this. Maybe I want to change the color. So let me go to colors. Well, colors, colorize. Uh, let me halt at this real quick. Maybe. Yeah, maybe a red or so. I click OK. Now, watch what happens. If I go to file, overwrite this file right here. Uh, as we can see, the name of the file. Is here right so when it imports it into another application uh, you get a default name right so you need to look at the default name so I'm going to just overwrite that same file so if I click on overwrite and I go back into my paint notice it's updated right and uh, uh, here we can see the white background but I do not want the white background so I'm going to go back to GIMP remove the white background File, overwrite, right, and go back to my paint, and there we have it. And the reason why I put these two drawings on different layers is so that I can edit them separately. So if I want, and even if I want to move this, I can move it without affecting this one. If they were on the same layer, then both of them would be affected, right? And I can also edit this one. So let me edit this one in Photoshop. So if I click on this layer. This is drawing number two. I go to layer, edit layer in external app. Let's select Photoshop this time. Then let me just go and create uh, a new layer and paint it white so we can actually see our drawing. All right, so I just put it below the drawing. Okay. Now I can do a bunch of stuff to this. So maybe I can select it make some edits, maybe I can warp it, do some cool stuff, I don't know, like stretch and stuff like that, 
Alright, I can even add stuff to it like you know additional drawings. I make changes here. Do some you know bunch of stuff, whatever it is that you may want to do. And turn off the background, because remember we don't need that. And inside Photoshop I'm going to go to File, Save. Right? And uh, it actually takes me to the edits folder inside of my paint so I'm just gonna uh, go to my format and change it to a PNG image and here I already have two files right that I'm editing one is the first drawing and this, the other one is this drawing that we're editing right now so if I just look on the name uh, A1 A1 so it's this drawing right here so if I click on that Click on save, OK, click on OK, and I save that and I go back into my paint, wait for it to be updated, and there we go. So, I mean, this is a really cool feature. So, I really like this feature, and now you, you guys know how to use it. So, go ahead. Uh, make your edits inside Photoshop or GIMP or whatever it may be and uh, save it so you can bring it back into my paint and just um, go about doing whatever it else you need to do okay so that's it for this tutorial <laughs>